middle of nowhere, the beginnings of what will be the world's most powerful radio telescope. It will help reveal the secrets of the universe. How and when did life begin? And are we alone? The compromise to share the Square Kilometre Array, or SKA, with Australia didn't dampen spirits in Cape Town. I'm ecstatic. I'm happy for our scientists. I'm happy for our country. I'm happy for Africa. We've done it. Who would have thought? So I'm, 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 I'm thrilled. Two-thirds of the dishes will be built in Africa. The rest will be in Australia and New Zealand. There will be 3,000 in all, making it 50 times more powerful than the current most powerful radio telescope. It's called the Square Kilometre Array because the surface area of all the dishes adds up to a square kilometre. All the data from Africa's dishes will come into this room, the SKA headquarters here in Cape Town. There's already a prototype running called CAT7. You can see the dishes from it on that live feed behind me. The site's about 700 kilometres north, and that is where SKA will be built. Part of the reason South Africa was the preferred site is on the basis of that prototype. The Australian site isn't at as high an altitude, but it is remote. That's vital because a radio telescope needs radio silence. Any interference could corrupt the data. By winning the lion's share of the project, South Africa has proven it has the will and the brains to be at the forefront of astronomy. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Cape Town, South Africa.